Because there uh, are two reasons, really. The Brexit vote here is a very solid Brexit vote. There's no regrets here at all. They voted in Brexit and they really, and it's not Barnsley alone, obviously, but, but it, it just typifies the kind of town that had been Labour forever, but split from their own party over this Brexit issue, um, which is what led them to vote for the Brexit party in such astonishing numbers. And don't forget, you know, the Brexit party candidate here in one of the seats got 30% last time. Now, <coughs> clearly, the, you know, the Conservative vote was the difference between us beating Labour and us not beating Labour. So it is a pretty obvious target seat for us. Um, what is interesting is that right across the board, including Barnsley, we are now in second place. Albeit, Labour are somewhere ahead. There's no question about that at this moment in time. But I've got a big message to Conservative voters in Barnsley, which is don't waste your vote. You're going to come third. You know, our candidates have a chance, a real chance, of being damn close if not beating Labour. So a, a Tory vote actually in this situation leads to a Labour success. And I'd say to Labour voters, look, or potential Labour voters, look, Starmer's going to win anyway. But just remember, this was the man that campaigned for a second referendum. This was the man that thought you were too stupid, too thick, that what you'd done was wrong. Um, and you know, you know that with me leading the party, I'm going to fight on these issues, and in particular, to stop the population explosion. I mean, we've had a six million rise in the population since the Tories came to power. And people can't get health appointments, can't get social housing. I mean, it, it, it's a massive issue that nobody else wants to talk about. I'm going to be a champion for those things. And I think I've got a history that when I do campaign for things, I generally win in the end. It may take some time, but I generally win in the end. Well, we've all come here today, and it's a great, it's a great turnout. You know, a lot of hell of a lot of people from across Barnsley, all sorts of background have come here today to oppose Rugby Farm UK and Farage having a rally in Barnsley. And what do you mean? Sorry. Because we think that they actually stand for the rich, for the bankers. Farage is a big fan of Margaret Thatcher. These are the people who back in the 1980s. 1990s destroyed Barnsley, destroyed Barnsley industry without creating any, any alternative for future generations. So, you know, they're the last people. They're now using migrants as a scapegoat. They're blaming all the problems on them. That's what they want to do, rather than opposing the people who really cause these problems. You know, the problems with the economy in Barnsley, Running down of the health service and social care, the running down of the health, health of the housing system. They should be opposing the people who actually created these problems: the rich, the Tories, the Farages. Of this. I mean, I've campaigned in Barnsley over the years. Many, well, in fact, to be honest, all around this part of Yorkshire over oh, 25 years or whatever it is. Um, the only thing that's changed is you know, there's those that support you and those that don't and that's absolutely fine but it's just this modern politics with threats which is why the police have been involved today and why i'm staying on here I, I just it's horrible do you think it's more divisive than it has been historically well i think some on the extreme left seem to think that, that violence is acceptable and it never was and it never should be well, why can't we agree to disagree with passion you know you shout a rude word i don't care but, you know, the threat, you're going to actually be physically assaulted. It's not very fun. How are we all? Good. Now, look, I tell you what, it's amazing. I've only been leader for a week. I've come out of retirement. Must need my bumps felt, really. But, hey, we are, Reform are in second place now in the North East, the North West, and Yorkshire and the Humber. And in this constituency, we're well ahead of the Conservatives, but, but Labour are out in front. So I want to say this. If you vote Conservative in Barnsley, Labour will win. If you vote Conservative in Barnsley, you'll finish up, undoubtedly, with a Labour MP. But if you vote for the real voice of opposition, we can win this seat. And if you're a Labour voter in Barnsley, well, Keir Starmer was the man that wanted a second referendum. So if you believe in Brexit, if you believe in Brexit, 
vote for our guys because we want this really to happen. Now I can hear a protest coming on its way, but I've got the message out and they don't like the fact we're doing as well as we are. We're doing very, very well indeed. Very well indeed. Morning everybody. Morning everybody. Thank you mate. Thank you mate. Morning everybody. There we are. Well, genuine, genuine refugees are welcome here. Genuine ones are. Look at the anger. Look at the anger. Why? I tell you what. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Whatever happened? Whatever happened to proper democratic debate? Look at the language. Look at the behaviour. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is what we've sunk to. This is what we've sunk to. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think this is what universities produce now. Very good. Okay.